Hey, y'all. Hey. It is Sunday, almost fun day. We've had a lazy Sunday, if I'm being honest. What's up, Bethany? Jen Germs, Debbie, Holly, Darla. I wish it would just show Darren your hair in color. Huh? I wish it would show your hair in color. That would be cool. Oh, just the hair? Well, we'll show you guys the new hair color on that camera. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Sandy, how's the baby? From Biz Brisbane. What's happening, y'all? What's happening, y'all? Ooh, look, glamorized -y. I did. I put makeup on today. And I straightened my hair. To go nowhere. Oh, okay. We're going to have to turn that hair off. Okay. That is too much. Too, too much. You should try to use acetone on there and see what it does with alcohol inks. from Gold Coast. What's up? So many Aussies. So today, you guys, I'm going to attempt to do a mermaid. Let me preface that by also saying um, I'm not good at figure drawing or hair drawing or fin drawing or any of that drawing. We're going to give it a shot. So I was feeling particularly mermaidy because I have a new hair color. It's a wash in. I'm digging it. Looks like this. And I went ahead and pre drew out. See, um, look, I wish it would be this big. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, how? How, how do I If you it enlarge like it that? to full screen, it, does, it still does that? Mm -mm, it's just regular. There's like, got to be a way so... to alter the font size got to. There has to be. Um, so I went ahead and pre-drew out a figure. I'm just going to throw alcohol and get it and hope for the best. I have my wine. I have my boys. It's going to be a great evening. I'm super pumped that you guys have enjoyed this series as much as I have. I know I haven't been doing as much just resin art lately, but I will get back into that. Thing is, um, we need to buy a new dryer, and the money that we're making from these pieces. Look at that. Pieces, you can age gold leaf like that. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. It's fun, though. Um, so we need to uh, buy a new dryer. So whatever's making money is what we're arting right now. <laughs> right. So we're going to get back to regular resin art next week. But till then, let's make a mermaid, shall we? Yeah, that's funny. It's crazy. So let's get started with some alcohol. I'm using a 91% isopropyl alcohol. I found some in the bottom of one of our something. That's what we're going to be using. That is blurry as all the hell. I know. I just moved the... Uh, oh, I'm just going to put you on there. Right now. I moved the... <coughs> um, I had the archival spray out there, so it would focus on that. And I moved it, so I'm sure 
dryer. Yeah, we'd love to get a brand new washer and dryer. We just really need a new dryer. I mean, both of them we bought from like basically a junkyard. And um, you can't get hairless. All of the puppy hair and kitty hair is everywhere, so we need a new one. All right, let's get to getting. Um, I did not print out a reference. I have one, but basically I'm going to do it like I have been this whole series and just alcohol ink my way up and just have a good time with it. Sandy, it's a, uh, it's one of our MDF framed cradle boards. It's the 18 by 36. I don't have these on the website. Um, electric, just electric, a gas. It's electric. You can have a gas dryer? Yeah, if your house is powered by gas, then have a gas dryer. Gas appliances are usually more expensive. And I didn't know this till we moved into here, but gas property renter's insurance is so much higher than regular, like electric. All right, I'm out of my Marabou rainbow. So at the end of this, I'm going to try to throw some bling it at this and hope it gives some subtle sparkle. I think I also have some aerosol spray glitter that's like body art somewhere that I'll break out. So I'm going to start in the middle and work my way into both directions, I think. Um, uh, it's not picking that overhead is, there we go. Aw, Graham just messaged me and said, Poppy says hi. Oh. Um, so I found a reference of a tattoo on Pinterest. Of course it didn't credit the artist, so I can't credit the artist. I wonder if I, no, okay. So I'm gonna try to avoid a little bit the skin tone areas that I have drawn out. Um, kind of, but not really. Let's start with this bottom half. I'm using my favorite of the colors I've been using lately for rainbow, which are Copic Magenta number 077. Um, no, Blick Magenta number 077. Copic Duck Blue number VG49. And Marabou lemon, yellow. All right, where's my this? I'm using a Wagner embossing gun to move my inks around. As per usual, I'm trying to keep this as light as possible, but I always end up making it a little darker than I intended. trying to decide if I want to work the inks into the frame area or 
or just let that be just like a solid. What do you think, Dee? <laughs> All right. Awesome so far. So I'm going to try to just stick with it's going to be impossible for me to not get all these rainbow colors into this like the body area. He wasn't listening to us, Big Jeff. Do what? Mm -hmm. He said it was busted, Nene, for not listening. Nene's not listening? No, she said I wasn't listening. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, it's impossible for me to control these things. So I'm going to abort mission and just do all of the colors as per use. That looks good like that. I really want to keep this very wispy and loose because mermaid and ocean and water and flowy. Well, thank you, Dolores. Did I say that? Is that buzzer dying? No, I did that. I put it on a rag so that it's not so loud and abrasive, and then when I do it, I like, take it off and so She gave us $21.99. I but it's an E. It's an E in front of it. Is that pounds? Monica's create creativities. What brand of ink? Those colors. Oh. <laughs> nay, nay. Thank you. She said forty dollars to help with your new dryer. Thank you so much. <laughs> Silly. Y'all silly. Thank you so much. What ink is that? So the yellow is from Marabou. It's called Lemon. The pink is from Blick. It's called Magenta. And the turquoise color is called Duck Blue and it's from Copic. What's up, Vamp? Vamp! I 
in this little squeeze bottle, I just have more 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. I'm debating on doing a test to see if Everclear will work. I just have to get some, and in Texas, you can't buy alcohol, like hard alcohol, on Sunday. So when I get some manana. Okay, so that sounds an alcohol dollar tree yesterday. We don't even able to find any, basically, anywhere. Texas is a blue state. I have no idea. Do what? Ben said, Erica, you're going to make me buy some alcohol. I have some ideas I want to do like this. Totally inspiring me. Is Sam saying I'm inspiring her? That's what she just said. It makes me happy to inspire you guys, especially someone so awesome, talented, as Vamp, and the rest of you guys. Nanny said, those colors are making me swoon. It's amazing how many colors are created just from three colors. Just sprinkle in some. Nope. All right. It's. it's Sandy, I think she was talking about um, rubbing alcohol, <laughs> not not the booze. Rubbing this into the canvas to give it a little bit of sparkle. Even though the canvas doesn't have that much texture. This is Bling It Violet by uh, Resin Art, which we do carry on our website, artistildeath.com. finish drawing this ink and then we will start doing some detailing I hope. Monica, um, yeah it sold. JJ bought it yesterday.
the Yeti was um, not on. How does that sound, y'all? Does that sound a little different? Uh, we need um, we need all the alcohol. Like we literally are, we can't find in any anywhere. She actually found a little bit um, in her other alcohol ink stash, but she is steadily running out. I think we just need to get up really early in the morning on Monday and try to go to the stores, just a couple of different stores or CVSs, and see if they restock it. It probably just runs out so fast these days. Judy, what's up? Judy. I thought I'd get cute and try to paint some some something in here, but mm -mm. <laughs> nope. She said she has some alcohol I can borrow. Borrow? You're going to give it back to her? <laughs> like when I find some, I can replace what I have. I have a, Judy says I have a half a gallon you can get. I want everything to kind of flow upward, so... Did you post in places that we were going live? No. I just wanted to go live, so... I'm going to put some alcohol just on these hard edges. Let it sit for a second. Judy to the rescue. Judy's always been there for us. She's. Did you did you make that name up for her, Fairy Art Mother? I can't remember where it came from, but it's definitely accurate. Judy is ninety nine. Get you to hit Ron up for some gloves last night. Jim, can you see me, anyone? <laughs> hit or miss with her account. But yes, apparently Jeff can see you. I think you coined the name and ran with it. I'm just making sure that the flow is all upward because she's supposed to be underwater. Samantha said, I owe ATD for all those teaching. <laughs> I have lots and I can send. Best address as usual. 
Well, thank you, Samantha. I'll put that out there right now. Y'all are the best. Hello, Kim. Welcome. JJ, what's up? JJ is on a cross country voyage. We super appreciate that, Samantha. Thank you so much. Make sure you seal, you seal those tops really well, cause um, these uh, some of these guys don't take care of the packages very well. I'm gonna show you guys what I got yesterday. Am I? Yesterday, the day before, I think. Um, I got me a new airbrush. Um, it's a custom airbrush from Coast Airbrush. It's called the uh, the Tuxedo. Look how nice that is, y'all. I la la love it. La, 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 la. Get the white little chuck here. White trigger. A little bit of Lexus. Mm -hmm. Man, I cannot wait. And it's got the uh, micro cone. It's like it's the point three. I just ordered a point five so that you, I can do bigger stuff. This is a super. This is a good airbrush. This is an Eclipse, but it's called the Tuxedo. Like they didn't even put the the. Oh, they have Iowata on here. You can't see it, but they don't, normally they put Eclipse HPBC or whichever. This is a, this is nice. I know, right? He can go to weddings. Go out to the club. <laughs> Super fun. Oh, thanks, Nene. Um, yeah, I was just messing around last night after the live to see what uh, see what this would look like if I did it the way I wanted to. Uh, it was cool. It was just um, it was just a couple people. It wasn't it wasn't open or anything.
What? Gay Brace on my friend Kurt. <laughs> Did what? Erase this guy. He met up with him, I guess, and erased him. <laughs> hey, thank you, Catherine. Rebecca Shippy says, I really love those colors you're using for the mermaid. Thank you. I think they work for underwatery things. working all this ink in an upward motion. Thank you, Evelyn, for sending me that. Gabe's racing people. Three people. Woo! Gabe's car is fast. We appreciate it, Catherine. Thank you so much. Swanky Art Creations by Patty Singleton. What's up? Hey, Patty. Yeah, I love it when you do that. I love it when you make it like super like that. That's so fun. I think it looks extra corally. Burger Shea says, love the pinks and blues. Pretty pumped with how this is going so far, but I'm just hoping I don't mess it up with the lines I'm about to put on this beast. Take a sip of wine, let this cool off for a minute. And then heat it back up because I have some spots that still are. A little bit soaked with the alcohol, so I need that to dry. Now we're going to seal her. Yeah, I did this bee yesterday. Um, I want to come up with a with a new image for um, for shirts and for just I wanted something that represents us, and a bee is perfect. Um, Erica came up with that. I was I was trying to just think of something fun and unique to us. And a bumblebee is awesome. This looks a little like I, I really, I, I really want to make this a little bit fatter, like the bigger booty. Um, and I want it to be able to look good in black and white. You know, it's not necessarily detailed. So I thought this would be fun. And I got some black. I think they made a mistake and sent me two packages. While he's getting that, I need to let you guys know that this is UV Archival in matte by Krylon. Very important to get the matte because it won't reignite or um, 
reactivate your look eggs. at this uh, they sent me a bunch it's it's pretty small it's like three inches by three inches um, but what's fun about this stuff is it's um, it's a really nice super midnight blue black like you can kind of see the sheen and then on the other side it's like it's a different black if I can open this it doesn't want to come off <laughs> Isn't that the kind where you have to, oh. There, look at that. And it's a solid black. So you have basically two different colors. Very solid black, and then you got like this blue midnight color. I'm excited to use it. I think I'm gonna put it on this, on these black parts here. Oh, and then I discovered if you draw a black Posca pen over gold leaf and then wipe it off, I, I started dusting it off. I don't, I didn't even know this. It's like it dried very dusty and, and, it, and it just goes in all the crevices there and you can kind of make it look like it's old, which is super fun. All the nooks and crannies. Yeah. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. So yeah, that's, that's fun. While you're over there, will you give me some Mona Lisa? Please and thank you. It's over here? Yeah. Where? In that little, where all the gold leaf is. Oh. Where, what happened to the, your glitter body spray? Glitter body spray? Why don't you just put it in the resin? Hmm. That'd be fun. And you know what? I didn't even think about that. I bet I could put... So, we're thinking about making our own paint pens. Because um, I got these and they're empty. Take this off. Put your paint in there. Look at that. If you ever wonder what the paint pens look like inside, there you go. Um, I tried to make one with the uh, Montana oh you guys can't even see that where is mine oh, sorry uh, we got these paint pens from US Art Supply and it has a little thing where you can write the color um, and you can add paint so we're thinking maybe um, I thought maybe I can put some of that uh, this Montana liquid gold in there but it separates too uh, too easily when you write with it so it's not consistent if that makes any sense like I'll show you here like it still writes gold but um, when you start writing with it, I wonder if it just set, if it needs to settle. 
That looks a heck of a lot better than it did yesterday. Looks great. Huh. Maybe it just needs to settle into the into that uh, tip. This looks a heck of a lot better than it did yesterday. I wonder why it, why it does that. I'm so scared. What are you scared for? Because. Can you see your lines? A little bit. I can see the important ones, I guess. Just, I may do some of these and just ask you to make it make sense. Are you up for that? If you're not, it's fine. I don't know what she was saying. Hmm? Um, so yeah, what now, babe? You want me to do that? Do you feel they're like your, they're your really lines? Here? I know, and that's why I'm concerned. Are your eyebrows a color? Yeah. Oh. You can do it, E. I'm scared. I don't oh. know what you're, what they're talking about on here. Do you sell liquid gold? Because I can't seem to find it. No, we don't, Monica. Um, your best bet, if you can't find that liquid gold, um, is to use uh, Montana gold spray paint and just spray it into um, a paper cup and use it that way. Um, you just kind of have to use it quicker. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, I know. I'm sending you over to her. For some reason, she's sideways. Oh, I turned the... She'll be coming up there. Yeah, that's where we got our gold on, on uh, Amazon. First time we bought it, I think we bought it in Vegas. Mm -hmm. See you, Vamp. Bye. trying to keep up with my lines and figure out what I'm doing as I go. Because I 
I'm not a figure artist at all. Yeah, it's called, um, I'll show you here. Ooh, um, Monica. Monica asked, if you, if, if it's, if it sounds weird that I read off the question, people get irritated if they don't, if I don't read the question and just answer it. For some reason, I don't, I don't. Because if they're not here on the live, then they don't know what the question is. They can't see them if they're like watching it on TV. The, the question stream doesn't show. Ah, uh, I, I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, It's cute. It looks like she has a belly button. Does she? Um, so this is the. Um, it's it's from Montana, I believe. Um, M T N. Montana. And they have it in. Gold, silver, and, and rose gold or brass. Can't remember. Okay. We haven't got. Well, I, I haven't used either of the other ones. It's so hard to do this with a marker. so funny because I put that over there so that because you're right-handed and it's always covering up and now your hair is covering it up. Oh, <laughs> what you got going on babe? What you got? Stress. What the hell's happening? So it's just it does that thing that you do really well that like you gotta get a little bit more slow, like fast. I know, but it's kind of rigid on the line. Are you gonna do a solid outline? I am. Oh, okay. But the hair is where I'm concerned because it doesn't make sense. Where at? Like, this doesn't go anywhere. And it's just coming from the backside. Just, um,. It's all um, dried. Do you want me to get you over here? Well, I just didn't want to transfer something onto this. I didn't do the boobs either because I'm scared. Where's the boobs? There's just like, there's a hint right here. And I drew that, but I didn't put her elbow in from the other one because the hand doesn't go anywhere. So I just pulled this down. Like that's an elbow. So I have boob, boob projected, but I left the elbow out. 
refuse to cover it, I think it'll look weird. I think so too. It's like it's very off to the side. So while Jeff's helping me out because he is the master at drawing hairs, I'm gonna read with you guys. What's up? Oh, Moo wants to read with me as well. You don't have to go off of that. Bean beans. Hi, Denise. Thank you, Monica. Gina says boobs, LOL. Nene says hairs are hard. Hairs are hard. Like you guys don't even know the struggle. Don't even, oh no, it moves. Judy Moose says he misses you, by the way. I know it, Beans does too. Go lay down. Boy. Hello, Sue. Hello, Gina. So I did do a wash-in blue because I was feeling my mermaidy um, self today. It's just a wash-in. It'll wash out, but. And I also made my eyebrows blue just for today. Just a hair. Just a shade of blue. Yeah? Then what? Jeff, what is the secret to drawing hair? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> just being flowy, I guess. Okay. I'm just adding detail. He and Bowie need to come swim. I miss Moo being so much. It's true. Thank you, Catherine, for the uh, eyebrow compliment to be fair I have to draw them on because my hair is really fair and so um, it looks like I don't have any if I don't draw them on Sue says go with the flow Mary Mermaidy yeah Bowie's sitting with me Thank you. Stop looking at my elbow. Great. I don't know what I would do without you, B. Debbie says, Erica, I love when you and Jeff collaborate on projects. That's why I love this series you are doing. <gasps> Thank you. I think we work well together. Um, having someone else work on a piece of art that you've done and just allowing them to do what they do um, to the piece can be stressful. I remember the first time that Jeff let me do anything to a piece of artwork of his. I think it probably took a lot for him to kind of just let go and trust me and my process, you know. Um, Mike actually bought that painting, The Girls. I stoned the mask on it.
everyone agrees with um, Debbie about loving our collaborations. This is turning out to be beautiful. What's her name? I haven't named her yet. What do you guys think? This is not a commission. She is available. We are painting her in order to pay for a dryer because ours is pretty much dead. Thank you, Miss Delora. Thank you. Thank you, Nene. I'm jealous of that. I do. I don't have the support except my daughter, whom I don't get to see very often. You guys are just great. Oh, thank you. Pugsley's in the mix. the mermaid you could call her coral that's a fun name love the collab pieces love everything you do thank you Vanessa this is really helping with my understanding of how to do hair thank you guys so much Susan says I could watch him draw all day and three people agree Monica says, I love how Jeff does this so effortlessly. Right? It's almost frustrating for me. To be 100% with you guys, I love watching him draw. When we first started being friends, I would fall asleep on the phone watching him paint via Skype. Um, when I was basically marooned in Minnesota um, at the haunted hotel that I was working at okay. and um, I love watching him draw so frustrating the way it's so effortless to him and I am sure that it's because I overthink it that is where my frustrations probably come from I love watching him draw Will she have glitter glass? I haven't decided, but probably not because I want to start taking pictures 
of this series so I can do prints and glitter glass will just interrupt that. It, it would make it almost impossible to photograph. I have a friend who named her daughter Coral, great name. I like that name. What pen is he using? Is that the Posca? Yeah. That is a, is it a fine? No, it's a large and mid. Oh, it's a, is it the bullet one? Yeah. It's a bullet shaped. Posca pen. Starting to look Art Nouveau. Yes, yes. Jeff's line work is just so smooth and perfect. You guys have no idea. He is, he's mastered it because he draws from his shoulder, whereas most people are like wrist drawers. I haven't mastered the control from your shoulder that way you have a larger range of motion instead of just this that way you're more fluid um, I'll get it down one day but since we've got a dryer on the line it's gonna be perfect -er than what I could do hi Erica pretty hair you got there y'all are like Peas and carrots. Agreed. Cheers to you guys. Let me get this fruit fly out of my wine. Hold on. I'm doing dang near everything. But they still show up. I've started putting like uh, inverted bottles of apple cider vinegar around the house and they're collecting them but they're still around and they have this problem when we were on the eighth floor it's a second floor problem apparently there's water collecting in the basement so that's fun Tiffany love what's up girl she says these new pieces are gorgeous and they would look amazing as metal prints or plexi prints I haven't even had a metal print or plexi print done of any of our work. Have you ever done one of those of your paintings? Um, I think the place that we get our canvas prints done at does metal prints. People are like, oh, he moves his whole arm. That makes sense. I see it now. Has Jeff ever used the Iron Lac brand from Australia? I just bought some of their pens and their spray paint is very popular here. Yeah, I've used Iron Lac before, yeah. The spray paint or just the pens? The spray paint. We haven't used the pens, but he has used the spray paint before. Have a great day, Catherine. Lisa says, that's a great tip. I tried to draw a simple butterfly today in man. A lot of times the simpler things are the more difficult things. Agree, Judy. Oh, did you guys see the cats walk by? We made $69 during this feed. Thanks, yeah. you guys. Y'all are so great. That's going right back into you guys. I feel bad pulling it for the dryer fund. Because we always say every dollar goes right back into the channel, which is true. Uh, what's up, Mike Reed? We were just talking about you. Tara says, I love that rainbow color spot in her fin. Girl, it's all rainbowy, isn't it? Or no? Or yes? You need a small black. Um, I was using that other one for... Oh, she looks so good, B. Thank you. Y'all, I can't wait till you see a true color video of this piece. 
I saw some water inspired pieces today in Austin that were on metal and they had such a watery feel to them. They were so pretty. Well, I'll have to try that. Sue Ashworth says the iron lac pins are brilliant. Evelyn wants to know, B, if you've ever looked at Posca Street Art on Facebook. Thank you, Nene. What did I do? We were talking about your purchase of the first piece that Jeff and I collaborated on together, which was the girls. Um, that was the first time that we had worked on each other's artwork. Jeff let me stone the mask and some other parts of that piece. Nene says, no, no, mine goes for the dryer. Okay, deal. Mike, JJ is on, like, a cross-country tour. I think he won't be here for, like, another two weeks or something like that. Calm down, guys. Go lay down. I just want to have as much hair as this mermaid has when I grow up. See, it, it's starting to look a little bit better. I was kind of worried about it, those lines being too big. But if you use a thicker marker for these... For the first line, and then go in, and then fill in the, like the lines, like to give it more flow with the thinner pen. That really helps it uh, bring it all together. Yeah, my problem is that my the inner lines, like not the thick lines, but the ones you have on the inside, they never look. like that they never look cohesive they always look like someone sliced like a ball of clay wrong or something i don't know how to describe it it doesn't look like yours i just need to practice everything's possible i just need to work on it as you know yeah Susan says, I've been wanting a watercolor hummingbird tattoo for years. That piece is exactly what I want. Oh, the hummingbird one? Thank you um, for that. I'm so glad that um, you guys are enjoying this series. I was really worried that since this is a resin focus channel, it's a broad art channel, but um, I was worried about doing so many things that were not resin even though I want to do a lot of different kinds of artwork to inspire you guys to think out of the resin box um, but these pieces are <laughs> every one of them has sold so I'm very motivated to do more of this series on top of the fact that I'm enjoying working on them he's in Grant's Pass at his dad's right now so Cal and Moms is his next stop, then on to Dallas. Moo is an attention hog, 100%. Nene says that hair is absolutely beautiful. Let me give you guys a close-up. Night, y'all. Bueno, bye. See you, Mike. I love those strands also that are kind of like fat wiggles instead of absolute verticals.
should put some airbrush on here a little bit. We are good to go now. She is dealing with Bert, our, our, uh, our guy that makes our boards. And he's starting to make our sticks and our, uh, uh, what do you call it, coasters and stuff. Because so, I can't go to uh, Makers yet, they're not open. So we can't cut any new geodes or coasters or sticks. Good morning, how are you? Yeah. Lost Art. Uh, she's dealing with Bert. Evelyn says, hey Bert. I think this would Evelyn says, hi Bert. Yeah. <laughs> I met him at Makers. Maker Space. Thank you guys, thank you. I feel like it's just, I wish he would have done it on like a 60, like a 20 by 60 canvas. Can you imagine seeing that on a 20 by 60? That would be amazing. Um, I feel like it needs something else. Maybe I'll do some airbrush on there. And I'm, I'm looking at the piece. I'm not looking at this camera here. <laughs> I 
it doesn't happen at all with this side. It doesn't seem to happen. Stephanie, that sounds so good. Once it gets below that. And that's because of the width. Nay, nay, thanks, Danny. I'll tell him. I'm going to see what this will look like if I put some of this sizing on here. This stuff is fun to use. This stuff. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to dry. So these are cell for what this is is it's like an adhesive for gold leaf. And I'm going to put black gold leaf on these black parts here so it's nice and shiny and all black. gotta let this stuff set for like 15 minutes like it's crazy you wouldn't think that um, that you would want a glue to dry but this stuff you want that but I don't want to sit and wait So I'll probably use the heat gun to help it. Have you tried making an epoxy stick? And if you just, instead of selling these things, instead of selling these, what if you sold molds that people would make their own? And this is a little bit more reliable than those pins. Babe, when you come this way, will you bring some water and soap? Yeah. Warm water? No. Warm water to yeah. rinse this off? Um, I don't know, Tara. She might want to put some mermaid scales on there. That's probably what it needs, a little bit of detail like that. Once this stuff goes clear, that's when it's dry. Very, very sticky. All right, should I do the blue or the black side? I think I'll do the very black side.
Ooh, this stuff is touchy. And it's this is thinner than normal. Thank you, Bert. Bert is Bert is so funny. Like he's he's uh, I want to say he's in his seventies. Um, real nice guy. Soapy water or soap and water? I would just say soapy water. Put the blue side down. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't even think about that. Ow. Those deco, the, uh, the pins, the adhesive pins, the tips dry up. A little bit too fast for my liking. Um, <laughs> I put that blue side down right here. That was not very smart. Now I just need my mini kits and I can go back to sending out plastics. <gasps> Peach is beautiful! Are you gonna put some scales on her? I would use that really thin one and put like kind of random maybe or just fill her. Fill. It just needs something. box with my nail foils. Say that again? My nail foils? No. This stuff is messy. should I do scales on her? Just draw them and then... Sue Anworth, why do you keep saying boobs? <laughs> do they have a liquid version? This is a liquid version. I just used the liquid version. Speed ball um, metal leafing. It's a uh, sizing, adhesive sizing. Scales. I don't mind about Erica though. This is. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, Lost Art, you, you can't cuss <laughs> like that. Did someone get timed out? No. Nene just hit it. What, uh, what, what? He said, F, Jeff, what the hell, dude? What, what, uh, what's the deal? Easy, Mose. 
And then what were you lying about, Erica? She is exceptionally beautiful. Oh. So if I were to do scales, I should draw them all over or just patch? No, on her, on her fin, right? Right, but mm. her solid fin and scales are just like hints. Yeah, up at the top, you said the F word. We can't say it or we'll be demonetized. <laughs> Needs that line dividing the body from the tail. Spooky Kitty. <laughs> That's a new name. Is there any way to fix pinhole divots from air bubbles? That would Yeah, that should be fine. Just just give it a little sanding with some 400 and, and that should be fine. Random scales, Nene said. Are you doing that in what? The paint pen? Right now I'm just doing the fin. That's adhesive? Yeah. That's not going to work that fast. It's showing. Mm. Okay. Uh, oh, I um, I flipped the tip. Uh. I inverted it, so it could be that it's just soaked onto it. Uh, it's all good, Lost Art. We just, um, I don't, I don't mind, but Facebook we we just does. yeah, Facebook or uh, YouTube. When you meet us in person, it's, different. it's funny because people, I think people wait to hear us curse if we do, and then it makes them feel comfortable to curse because we never curse on our lives. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're human beings. Human beings. <clears throat> I never know what side to use. I get to get these on my, yeah. my test pieces. Let's see here. I don't know what you guys are looking at my face. Ah. What you got going on over there? I am. You have to let that dry, like like pretty good and then put that on there and let it set for a second like your heat of your hand can will uh will you hit that uh i think it'll be fine because you're going up can you move something well it's just that camera is just right at the angle well where do i need to go go to your left and then up there. If you just stay in that area, it should be fine. Sometimes a gal just got a curse. It's <laughs> true. Yeah, we're pretty much the same in, in uh <laughs> in person as we are on the live um and we decided you know when we first got started this channel that we you know it's we don't mind cursing we don't mind if people curse but some people just either get offended or it's just not necessary and we thought you know whatever we uh it's, it's you know it doesn't matter we kind of figured we're never going to offend someone from not cursing, but we may offend someone from yeah. cursing, so... That's what I should have said. going to um, err on the side of caution, I suppose. Err on the side of caution. We lie. 
85 people? What? 50 likes? Um, I'm going to need to see some thumbs up, people. Give Let's us see your some thumbs. thumbs up. So, the marker that I'm using is the iCraft Deco Foil Adhesive Pen. I affectionately call it a sticky pen. So I'm wondering if I put, because this stuff is a lot thinner. Um, if What if I put this adhesive in this paint pen? Maybe it'll work. I'm going to try it. I'll try it here in a little bit. So what I'm using is a nail foil. It's a foil for your nails. I got this on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon as well. It's something that um, nail technicians use when doing their nail art. use it in much the same manner but without the uh, adhesive pen they just wait till the nail polish is like kind of tacky and then apply as needed I'm loving this mermaid so far you guys at this point that I didn't miss any areas. This is also the stuff that I used for the um, bee wings. see that? I don't know if you guys can see that yet, but it's awesome. So now we need to figure out sorry about all that movement. How I'm going to maybe just some patches of scales and not full scales. Let's just do a little bit and see. difficult because first of all it's clear and also The pen is like a thicker nib, so I think it'll look better if it's like 
If it were a thinner pin, but you gotta work with what you got sometimes, you know? So I'm gonna see how this looks, and then we'll take it to different parts of the mermaid. I think we are set enough to start adding. Let's see what side we're working with. this like pretty transparent just a hint of it transfer paper so it's not like overly like abrasive looking because whatever I add to this piece I want it to be like an accentuation of it, not a distraction from what I already have going on. You guys know what I mean? I'm sure y'all know what I mean. Alright, so let's add some scales. First of all, can you guys see this? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Walk away, jump back. <laughs> what do you think, Bean? I'm gonna take a picture of your fly trap. Look out, Moose. Oh my god, that's so rad. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is what it needs. So, I, would do, I would do some in the hair, too. Yeah, for sure. That so is sick. Patch it or full scale? Just patch it and then see what it looks like and then fill it in. Yeah. What are you going to take a picture of? Your fly trap. Where's it at? Uh, by the seat.
someone asking about my homemade trap? Well, I hope you could see what I had done because I'm super digging it. Trip, like. Bowie, that's not your food. Look at this. That's not regular. That's insane. No. <laughs> hey, come here. Oh yeah, that looks great. Man. I would I would do it and then I would stagger it. Like up, 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 and then kind of do, 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 do. do some on her lips. But keep it patchy. Yeah. Great. Alright. There it is. It's going to pick it up. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Point your camera on your left down. There, perfect. See you, Lost Art, thank you for hanging out. Asking about my awesome fly trip? No, somebody was asking about if they have, if people have bad fruit flies? Yeah. It's not a person or a dog. It's a dog. dog trying to get out to another dog. But Bowie's interested and I have to show him. Hey. Right 
Could I just bend that? Sorry for the movement, y'all. I'm just trying to get this to go. That does not want to go down. I'm so excited about this pizza. 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 It's like I'm waxing scales onto her. Yeah. Have we missed a lot of comments? Sparkle. That's a new name. Hey, dear. Um. She asked, what type of surface is Erica working on? Is that some type of wood panel? Let's see. That is a MDF board. Um, it's one of our cradled, framed cradle boards. Cradle, framed cradle board. Cradle, cradle framing. Cradle, yes. Framed, framed, framed. Um, after she's done with that, she'll turn it over and show you what the back looks like. But we sell... The circle ones on our website, artistelldeath.com. We don't sell the square ones just yet, but um, we will get around to that probably this week. I just can't keep them in stock from the walk-ins. Can they see the shimmery? Um, yeah, doing that you really can. 